I've got another Infinite Warfare first for you guys today. We uploaded a video just a little bit ago with the first ever S&D gameplay, and now we have our first ever uplink gameplay on a brand new map that we've never seen before. This, my friends, is Mayday. It takes place on, obviously, a broken down ship that's falling apart while it's flying through space, which is actually pretty cool. If you guys look at the background, you can see different planets and stuff. It's kind of a cool location, but uh, this map looks insane. It's exactly symmetrical, and a lot of the pro players who were playing on it said it's their favorite one so far. So enjoy the gameplay guys. Here we go. Well, Mayday, look at your mini-map. It is perfectly symmetrical on both sides. A great sign of a competitive map as te these teams will go ahead, play uplink, just like how you've always known. Carry the drone in. It's a two-point dunk. A throw counts as one. Clayster, Felony, Nagafen, and John trying to get a win, at least in this series, as we're now in the third and final game. As uh, Felony does get shot by Aqua in the back. Four and a half minutes left in this side one as action has begun to kick off. Uplink, uh, yeah, it's become arguably my favorite mode uh, oh, yeah. for CWL. I absolutely love it. And yeah, the symmetry of this is going to be absolutely brilliant. Make sure you guys are watching closely here to get a feel for this map. You'll see attach with the drone, trying to make plays around the outside. And you'll see kind of on the map, you have one side of the map that's basically the top side looking, looking to make plays with the wall runs. Bottom. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> Don't worry. That was that, that. That one was fine. Yeah, that, that was at least at least the melee came in, right? The bottom side gonna be more your kind of indoor yeah. corridor. This is gonna prove to be a thrilling map, I think, I for mean, a lot of gamers. Yeah, this is built for competitive, right? To to its core. Yeah. It's, it's, it's awesome to see. We're now watching Felony gains back his health. Still challenging up top with that submachine gun. Currently in this game, sitting at one and two. So far scoreless as players have really just been kind of fighting over the drone. You saw there attached when he got the drone earlier. Grabbed it, went for that outer wall run, but basically had to just stall until his teammates came off spawn. Still a five second respawn delay, which uh, is stopping these teams from really getting any pressure oh. up on the map. I I'll play stuff too. Like, okay, so if you come in, you're playing search in this game for the first time, you can to uh, some degree use similar strategies or do like a four hit play together. Hard point, you know, these guys have lived and breathed that mode for so long, but up like until you learn some of the crazy throws or get an idea for what the best route is, there there's a lot of learning here. Look at that, that is sick. Rewinds back. Fortunately, John still gets a better of him there as Looney the closest to finally getting a score in the first couple minutes of this game throws it on through The upload there for Looney one point on the board for attach and crew Eight and five from aqua five and three from attach seven and five from Facento a well-rounded effort here from the blue team and Now you'll see drone going over to felony and the red squad They're gonna start to push forward here on the bottom side of the map He has one in front you saw the x-ray not able to find the kill It's attached gutting it with the karma Attached, keeping things Ooh. going. <laughs> Looks like he ends up pulling out the Envy for as well there. Kleister used his rewind for a second. Unfortunately, not able to save him after all. Two and a half minutes in, still only one point score for the blue side. Aqua trying to challenge with that AR. His uh, teammate on the Elevate there, Nagathan, gets the better of him. As pressure is still coming towards middle map, but they've got to watch for these lower corridors. Yes, you might have one player in there, but one is not enough to hold that drone area. Right now, three dead. This is where Saber team can pick up the drone, begin the push towards the Wraith squad, and look to get more points on the board. And it's all a big part of that will be Looney pushing out the front and then Aqua covering in the back. But he was looking for kills, has to grab the drone. One pushing from middle, not able to win it. Shots just underneath. So three end up dropping now for our blue side. Any kind of push or chance for points there all but evaporates as we'll cycle through back over to the red side. It's going to be Clayster here trying to find kills. Minute 45 left inside number one does find one in front. And if you if you missed us talking about this at the beginning, right, uh, stuff like, you know, hit markers or maybe you can see at times it doesn't pop up at the plus 100 for a kill. Yeah. Infinity Ward well aware. Come launch <laughs> any minor. Th oh, Lordy. <laughs> Clayster! I love the wine so much. That's all you're going to use it's when you stream. everything I could have ever wanted anymore. <laughs> Clayster just dirties him right there, gains back the health, the ammo, and just shoots him right in the back. So fun to watch. And we really didn't see much too much in response this past year. Well, now Rewind, kind of a different version, updated, loving, loving seeing the different kind of 
uses for these payloads now yeah. in response. Very popular to use these guys. I absolutely love it. And we're, we're going to talk about it more at length with TP later on, but you'll see a lot of gun variety. You'll see there are certain payloads not being used. Uh, they are playing with, with some current bands that are already in right now for these guys. They've, yeah. been, they've been working with Infinity Ward for months, working over the past couple of days with them here. So if you're seeing some things that you played with in the beta that aren't being used right now, that, that may very well be why. Yeah, I was going to let TP talk all about it. Now, now oh. you're, trying to, you're trying to steal this thunder. Oh, no. TP and I are going to have a long, long chat. Oh, good, good. I'm sure the community's looking forward to that. That'll happen right after this game. For now, whoa, Aqua misses the throw completely, banks that one off the wall. Still a one-point game. Pacento now uses his rewind, but John with a beautiful slide does get that kill. Time ticking down on side number one. Looks like not going to try to go for one last score. We'll see if he can get it done in the closing seconds. You see two players on X-Ray in front make his three. He should be cut down almost immediately, but he gets him the toss. <laughs> Tries to give him the hands as well, but not able to do it. With just under four seconds, that should be the end to our first half. It'll be a 2-1 advantage for Wraith. 19 kills, I think, the lead in this game from that Wraith squad. It will be Clayster. Just behind him is Aqua, so both ARs succeeding so far on this map. Here's a look at your final kill cam. This one was from Clay with that K-Bar. Nice team shot between him and Fellow to go ahead and cut down loot. I'm not surprised to see that. It feels like, what, every single new Call of Duty game, AR players and ARs in general seem to be a little bit more powerful well, at mean, first. Even the players were talking about this when we, when we went out to dinner last night after a full day of playing. They were even saying how there's certain spots that obviously ARs can excel in, and yeah. at the start, some machine gun players don't know exactly the best way to get to that, to stop yep. them in that position. Exactly. As the game goes on, submachine gun players begin to use different lanes of the map, find out what the best spots are to combat some of those AR power positions. And you're already even beginning to see it just after the, the, the first day. That was reactive armor used there by Felony, which gave him the ability to pick up a couple kills. The Volk absolutely shreds. It is that kind of slower rate of fire, powerful assault rifle, and he's just putting on a show with it right now on a six streak, about to earn his highest streak. Felony is a man on a mission as he gets another eight in a row. Goes from seven and 14 to now 15 and 14. Yeah, he calls in the bombardment, so he's gonna be raining fire here as they're looking to try and extend <laughs> this lead. Aqua. Felony with the snapper. Aqua! Got gunned. Ooh, 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 more than that. Uh, that. Okay, well, that throw, that definitely Clayster. Leave the drone throwing to somebody else after that one. Does use a rewind to get out of there. Maybe make the most of a of a, of a, a little bit of a whiffed shot. Three to one, red team keeping this one in their favor. But I know one thing for sure. Attach and crew want to go for the full sweep right now. They've already won two maps. Nagafen just fell off too. So everyone's getting involved and falling off the map in this game. It's uh, attached, still challenging middle with this karma. Still trailing by two, tries to reload. Unfortunate timing for him as he runs right into John. John actually finds two mid map, and this is a chance here for Racing Crew to get forward. You also have the eraser out to try and counter okay. this. Okay. Don't! Well, okay. Uh, oh. oh my god. Who was it? Was it, was it Clay? Um, I don't think so. I don't think it was. No, Clay said rewind. Yeah, it wasn't Clay. Anymore. I thought for a second I saw Clay die no. at the exact same moment. I was like, yeah, tell me it wasn't. That was, that was very, that really okay. worried me. But no, it was not Clayster. We're going to hear about it from Clay after this match. Yeah. Three to one, still the score. 250 left in this game. Clay's still holding this outside lane, and this is kind of what we, we what we spoke about. You've got the middle corridor where subs can push right through, take command of these outer lanes where assault rifles really excel. Clayster knows that. He does have the flank on players, but I do believe someone's just spotted him from behind. There's the cleanup, a great call out. Looney knows exactly where Clay's coming from. Good teamwork from the blue side of things, from the Sabre team. As a, it's still a heavy contest fight for middle map. And it's because these teams are having to get two dead before they can grab that drone, yeah. and it makes a lot of sense. Well, it's going to be coming down to the wire here. Just over two to play. You'll see Felony now with drone, looking to add on to this lead, getting forward. Should be points coming in. Taking his time. Game. Taking his time. 5-1 now. One behind. You saw it on X-Ray. They're getting back to the drone reset now. He's going to wrap back. Might be able to pick up a couple from behind. I don't know if a patch just spawned in there or wrap back to his base, but he gets cleaned up almost immediately. Facento trying to win key gunfights here at mid-map. It looks for now like Blue will have control, but there's still several players here flooding in from your red side. The trading, honestly, it's just being traded back and forth. No one's really yeah. been able to get control here. At I mid. mean, the big thing has been side two is much heavier slang presence from the red team. Almost everybody negative on the Sabre team. The blue squad 
Nagafen always in an advantageous position, being a nuisance inside the blue team base. Even now, he's holding their top window. There is no AR support watching over this drone area. Finally, Aqua takes matters into his own hands and cuts him down. But with only 90 seconds remaining, you've only had one point scored by the blue team this whole entire game. They've got to get something going right now or else it's going to be too late. Yeah, you know, that keep away mentality doesn't look to be the plan as Clayster finds one, not able to get the shot off before he's taken down. But they still have the four point advantage. What are you, are you trying to play a little bit defensive here with a map this size? Do you think you kind of have to keep the pressure on? Uh, I mean, pressure is always a good thing no matter what in, in any Call of Duty game mode. Obviously now in Uplink, you put pressure on the opposing team's base. You don't give them any opportunity to get across the map and get scores. 45 seconds left. Attach is having to throw down the throne. He can't even go for points right now because he has no supporting cast. It's unfortunate, but all signs are pointing towards a red team win. Clayster 29 and 24, where Aqua has slowed down just a little bit inside too. Clay has continued to heat up. And John has wow. been fantastic throughout. He picks up three in a row there. You saw the 1v3 he's able to do in SD. And Felony had seven kills at the half. He's now got 28. So wow. three times the amount of kills from side one to side two. A great showing here from the red team as they finally do get a map on the board. They're able to do it. Time now ticking away. The final seconds will get it done. We'll watch Clayster here for the final moments. See if he can find anything else. But that's going to be a win for Wraithside. Six to one.